<laughs> Hi, how you doing? We're having such a good time. Oh, are we are having this yeah. swell time. <laughs> are they actually out there this time? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Wait a minute, I Our audience see. is, well, I, there's little Bobby and Billy and Susie uh -huh. right in front of the TV. Great-grandmother. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Great-grandmother's out there. That grouchy one that's related to you. She's they, watching. They'd never know that we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's no reason nobody, for them to. What, you got no, some letters? The uh, trouble we Johnson? see. Yeah, I got a letter to here. Well, from, where's Gwendolyn from? Here from? in the Star City. Hey, all the way from Roanoke. Gwendolyn says, I would like the recipe to your Japanese meal hmm. on the show 606. Yeah. I also think your show is a great one and enjoy watching it. I'm very sorry you took the Cook Sisters off the show. Yeah. Just don't take your show off, please. Yeah. I or anything else off, for that matter. Uh, I especially like your Oriental dishes and wish you would put more on. And she says, P.S. I do wish you'd wear a coat. I yeah, I don't think you wear enough. Uh, well, you I should, wish you'd put more on yourself. Well, you should try some deodorant. I think that's what she means. <laughs> P.S. I don't well, have to put up with any of this. Yes, you do. <laughs> Just smell your hand. <laughs> well, I've been playing with fish going into this show. <laughs> Unclean. I, fish hands, fish hands. Okay, what? Oh, that's reminiscent of other things. I am 13 years old, little Gwendolyn says. Just so you won't think I'm an adult because of my handwriting <laughs> and the way I talk with nonverbal communication. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a funny a, letter, all right. What else have you got? I don't know. It's just the right squirrel. <laughs> what else have you got? Well, here's uh, Mrs. Rhonda. Mrs. Rhonda? <laughs> Sounds like she runs one of those places along the road down and close she, to Rock and Mount. She said she just recently moved to this area and have only, Does unfortunately, she do hand readings, uh, by chance? been uh, able to see a, a couple of love shows, <laughs> of love your shows. shows. Love shows? However, <laughs> I'd love as many as your recipes as possible. Ah. Uh-huh. Keep up the good work. I hope you're on the air for some time to come. Well, so we do, do we. too. Needless to say, we need <laughs> but the money. But that's from Ms. Rhonda. How I got that house payment comes in every month. I need that uh, money yeah, you'll have to help What else me, you got? You'll have to help me read this one because... <laughs> The letter's so big, he needed help. I sure it. enjoy watching you cook. Mm. Now, that's the first time in a long time anybody said anybody that. Anybody said that most yeah. people are miserable mm -hmm. watching us cook. And, you know, finger licking and, and sneezing and, and everything. Sneezing I sneezed up. last week and grossed out 3,000 people. Send me the recipes. For what? Uh, and it, she says when. It was both spinach and pimento. <laughs> Spinach and pimento. I swear I don't remember doing that one. She turned it on the first time she'd ever seen it, and she picked it up in the middle of the show. Picked what up in the middle of the show? Her husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> she picked her show up, our show up in the middle of the show. Oh, Can you oh, imagine oh, tuning oh, in see. in the middle of tuning this Tuning in mess? in the middle of this mess and not know what it is? Woo. Woo. Where are we today? Uh, McNeil in, Drive. No, we're in France, Europe. Oh, yes, McNeil Drive in France. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do two. Quick this is and the easy. We leave. I beg your pardon. Show. Well, shh. You have to hold your hand up if you want to do that. Oh. <laughs> what, go to the kitchen? Yes. Let's go to the kitchen. All right. Boy, we're rolling now. <laughs> You'll have to excuse us for being a little punchy, but we had a couple of false starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, and we're not even having them. Well, never mind. Talk about your false anyway. starts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heating up a little butter here on the thing, and I'm going to do a fish uh, recipe. I'm going to do a fish uh, 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 fillets of sole provencal. Oh, how Sounds Terribly pretty fancy, marvelous. I'm it? doing stuffed tomatoes. That's fish with stuff on it. And I'm just going to holler out the tomatoes while Larry does that and put them in the oven. So You're going to holler out the tomatoes? Yeah, I'm going to hollow them out. <laughs> holler. Well, I'm just going to take an old ordinary onion, chop it up. I should have done this before we got on. Everybody gets tells me, gives me a hard time about how they get tired of watching us chop onions all the time. Well, I can't help it when you're cooking. you got to do what well, you got to do. I oh, know. by the way, our toy is back this week. Oh, yeah. Little Mikey Carroll provided this toy. Let me get back a little bit here. Now, this is the one you had difficulty this, getting This is the one that we tried to let loose of last, last week. week. Here we go. <laughs> <You> see this? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he promised me this thing was going to fly. Use it. I just saw it a while ago. It went straight up in the air, and it was real funny. <laughs> That's it. 
You get no more time on this show. You don't reckon he invented that and is trying to, you know, get well, some money Well, I don't know of... if it's for sale next week at 1995. <laughs> we'll know. I'm going to sell it right now. Only 345. No, I better not do that. You know, last time we did that, people have been writing in. Some of the TV stations we're on are a little slow. Their tape machines run slow. And some of them are just getting around to some programs we did about four years ago where Johnson made some ridiculous offer and, and people called up and they want to they wanna get in on these mm -hmm. offers. Like our old cookbook that has been yes. out of print for five years. Yeah, don't order that cookbook if you see Please it. Please don't order that cookbook. It doesn't exist. It's a memory. And what's even worse than that is Johnson keeps talking about the new one, <laughs> which we hadn't gotten around to either. But we're trying. But we will one of these. One days. of these days, maybe. If one we all of these days. Live long. And I'm just rough cutting these onions cooking. here, and I'm just going to throw them in here and sauté them just for a couple of seconds into the butter. We go. Now I have a, a fillet of sole which is lying at this moment in state, <laughs> in state, <laughs> in the uh, frigid air, in a little wine which I brought along today. And, uh, and just saute those for a couple of seconds. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to take these tomatoes and I'm going to get them ready. I'm going to take the seeds out of them first, just a little bit here. And I'm going to chop those up and put them in there also. And we'll put our seasoning, which is garlic and uh, a little bit of uh, parsley and one, one thing and another. I'm just going to sort of cut out the bad pieces. This tomato doesn't looks so good for Doesn't some reason. Anybody. And this is a real irritation. I don't know who is responsible for putting these dumb little tags on tomatoes, but they're nigh impossible to get off. Now I have very good nails. You might notice they're clean. Oh, and they're those wonderful porcelain ones. Look at I that. have never seen such. <laughs> the only thing you can do with that is cut it off of there. That's dumb. I don't know who invented that packaging, but that's dumb. It's an irritation to me. <sighs> now that I've got that out of my system, I'm just going to chop that up a little bit. I'm just chopping around that ugly old thing, whatever it is. And while I'm doing all of this, of course, my onions are sauteing away and my soul is lying in state. <laughs> Your soul. In the wine, which your everybody soul, always suspected I don't know. it would. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking about your fish. I know where your soul My is. My filet of fish is in the Frigidaire right now. Oh, I've got to get some of that. Well, come on, Bly. I know that you were, you're just aching to do it. What? Aren't you, aren't you going to do a joke on somebody shot a hole in my soul? She shot a hole in my soul? No, I don't think I would lower myself to humor like that. Mm-hmm. I couldn't be a part of a program that does jokes like that. Since when? <laughs> I'm getting the seeds out of here. And that's about all I got on this one for the moment. But I'll get back to you in just a couple of seconds because I've got to get this fish in the oven. Otherwise, Johnson and I will be eating raw fish. And I can't think of anything worse than that. Well, I'm just over here now. I put my tomato halves, or three quarters, you cut the top off of them, hollow them out a little bit with a teaspoon, salt, pepper them, and they're in an oven right now and they're baking until they just heat through. And uh, what I'm doing now is uh, grating up some cheese that I'm going to need in a little while as part of this recipe. And I need just a little bit, bit more. This is plain old sharp cheddar and it's being grated up real fine and it's going to go on the top of the stuffed tomatoes when I get through with it. I guess that should be enough. While he's doing that, I'll just tell you very quickly that I'm going to take a clove of garlic and chop it up. That's, I'm going to get ready to put that in there along with my chopped parsley. Now back to Laban. Well, thanks, Lair. And now it's time to scramble three eggs. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> uh huh. Well, now, you know, in a few weeks, we're going to do Laban and Larry's basics uh, cooking for all of you uh, kids and college students and young adults that have never had to do anything in your life before. We're going to have some actual cooking lessons uh, coming up, the basics from boiling water right on through, but cooking for the ignorant. <laughs> Can you see this? I've hit what? this egg on this what? 
plastic bag. <laughs> Look, it won't. <laughs> That's what happens when you use it that. It won't plastic. Hang on a second. I Here, need a, I need a. Let me give you a real thanks. one. Have you got you a? Got one of them. Have you got a? Is there a fork over there? False bowls. Is there another fork over in there? I can another have. fork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there's something nasty on my finger. And these eggs, oh, I was going to show how to do two at one time, but I won't. All right, now look, everybody, one-handed. That was impressive, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Larry, that's all right. I'll just uh, go over here to the kitchen table, the uh, dining room table, and borrow one you of those You mean forks. he did something and I missed it? <laughs> what was it? Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to add these tomatoes in here. And I have chopped up a fine clove of garlic. There it is, fine clove of garlic. Go put that in now. Mm. And we're going to fry that up just a little bit on top of the stove. And I'm also, at this time, going to get some parsley going. We have this wonderful, beautiful parsley <laughs> from last week's program. And uh, it's a little sad. A little droopy. Well, don't throw off on it. But uh, it's the best we can do. The, we tried there, that. but for the grace of God. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. You've had but trouble anyway. with all of that stuff today, getting it to stand upright. Well, it's just not as pretty as it once was. But that's all right. Now, get down inside here, and uh, we'll get some. We'll pull some out of there that's still okay. Go ahead, Johnson. That's all oh. I got to say. No, I just no. got to oh, chop no, up no, a little. No. Don't, don't let me keep you from chopping your parsley. <laughs> I'm chopping my parsley. <laughs> I'm just beating these eggs into submission. I noticed you are. I'm trying to find something decent in here. Rubber band's about the best thing on this whole thing. You're trying to find something decent. There we decent. go. That's some fresh. How much parsley does it call for? I've never bothered to look. It just says chopped parsley. So I'm just going to chop up a little bit. That ought to be enough. That's real pretty, except for that real bad one. Now I'm going to continue with these things. Okay. Just fry I'm them a little to bit melt here. Melt my butter so I can do my eggs. And I, I don't, why am I having such a hard time? Well, because today? you're not prepared, Johnson. I don't know why you come to this TV studio. I don't know what you think it is you're supposed to be doing here. But you well, got to prepare for these. Shows. I don't know. They just sent me over here. <laughs> They said they needed that a parsley in there. Right. A little parsley and salt and pepper it too while you're mm. at it. A little salt and pepper. Ah. You know what? I am convinced what? that there is an electrical problem in this place. Why do you say because that? Because you know when we cook anything in the oven and use this stove, you can't get a burner to get hot. I don't think we are able to draw enough amps. Oh, don't tell me we're not drawing enough amps. We'll have to get an engineer in here to determine what the situation is. How much time do I have to have at least 15 minutes? Do I, I don't have that. All right. All right. How much? 11 and a half. Oh, holy moly. Okay, that means it's time to get this fish in the oven. Well, now that'll cook real fast. Oh, though. yeah, sure it will. And the oven is already up to 350 degrees. You take a little bit of this filet of sole, which has been laying in this wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest mess I've ever seen in my life. Well, that's enough. Well, that's just a big old hunk of it. You know what I think I'll do just to assure that we don't eat raw fish? I'm just going to put that in there. What do you think? I think that's the greatest. Point. Believe so? Yeah. Now, what you do is you cover it with the tomato mixture. And it was already had some wine in it. You may want to add just a little <laughs> Wait a minute, bit. here's a piece that wants to go and you didn't. Uh, just a little more wine in. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that thing jump in there? That just hopped in there. That's enough, Johnson. That's enough. <laughs> you didn't know that I used to be the oh, it says the service. tiddlywinks champion of Belmont Elementary School back this, in 1948, did you? It says serve parsley as a garnish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done it in there. So I'm going to put that in a 350 degree oven. Stick that in Johnson's ear, and we're going to stick that in there. And that's it. That's all I got to do. I got to right. wait for it to cook for about 
12 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes. Do I hear nine minutes? Okay, meanwhile. Cook it till it's done. 10 minutes, I got 10 minutes for it to cook. And my heavens, Johnson, you have flipped off a parsley onto the eye and it's burning. Yeah, I have beat up these eggs Ooh. powerfully. Let me turn this off. I don't think I can stand it. Thank you. And now they're in Great here arm and shot. We, we hope they're gonna scramble. All right. We hope what's going to scramble. They're These gonna, eggs. They scramble at These our signal. These are just plain old scrambled eggs. Now you could flavor them up if you wanted to. You could put like I'm about to do a little cheese in them. Uh, but we're going to put some cheese on top of them too. And I'll just uh, set this fine smelling uh, fish over here to the side. <laughs> under these hot studio lights for a while. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> You could, in addition to the, the garlic, I mean, in addition to the parsley uh, as a garnish, you could also use some black olives, which I forgot today. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this show at all. And talk about me being I dead. know, I know. That's what I get for throwing off on you. I realize it. Oh, I have just got a raging thirst. <laughs> Would you like for me to fix you some uh, uh, water? <laughs> yes, I'd love some. Okay. I think I need a big glass of water to get through the rest of this All show. All <laughs> right. We'll just uh, pour you a little water, Johnson. Just now, a little tiny bit Now, if everybody of water. out there that doesn't know how to scramble an egg will watch carefully. <laughs> Here you go, Johnson. Oh, thanks. We have uh, shipped this water in uh, because our water oh. source here has gone bad. Oh, thank Aunts. goodness. And, uh, There's nothing like some good water. Now, I'm cooking this little over. Pit, little Pierre water, uh -huh. <laughs> as a friend of mine once called it, Pierre water. Now, what? these eggs are cooking very slowly so that I can make sure they don't overcook and get hard. I want them to stay nice and soft. Do you know what I found out how you tell a good restaurant from a bad restaurant for breakfast? When you go into a, a bad restaurant, they cook, it doesn't matter how you order them, they cook the eggs the way they want them to cook. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. And the really good ones, of course, cook it exactly the way you asked for it. Now, if it's you'll, hard to get a soft uh, now, uh, egg. These eggs are real soft because they're going to get cooked again in just a second. So let me get my tomatoes out. Twice cooked eggs. Twice cooked. Sounds like some kind of Chinese dish. Oh, Twice well, cooked is. eggs. Let me see. What is it ready? you're looking for, Johnson? What? You seem confused. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Before we get into this, I got to broil this pan now, and I got to move the shelf. Does everybody want to watch? <laughs> this is going to be a miracle if we pull any of this off. But we have said this before. Are you having some problems with it? Well, yeah, I, I believe you got burning. I it believe that's too close. It is. Okay. Now I gotta turn it up to broil. <laughs> I've seen him do this before. Now what do you? What <laughs> now we're going. Now these tomatoes have gotten warm in here. They're slight. They're not cooked sloppy. Uh huh. Now we're gonna put. They're just soft. A little bit soft right. to the a touch. A little soft. Like you. <clears throat> and I'm a little soft to the touch. My voice is giving out on me. I guess we've been here so long and talked so much. That <laughs> we had to do so many bike checks that we ain't got no voice left. I used three eggs for four tomatoes, and maybe I should have used seven minutes. Four eggs. I don't. <laughs> I'm just so worried about my fish. I'm counting the time. All right, now there. Oh, well, that the, is attractive. Aren't they pretty? Looks like egg inside of a. Now you know, put some of this grated cheese. Tomato on the top. Well, isn't that lovely? Look like they've grown hair, a little uh, head of hair. Little angel. They're just real cute. Angel hair. Come on, hand some on there. Be my angel hair tomato. Be my angel hair, hair tomato. Be my angel hair. Be okay. My angel hair. What kind of cheese is that? That's uh, cheddar. Uh, sharp, I wasn't paying no sharp. attention. I, I noticed. <laughs> All right, now. What? Have some water, Johnson. Oh, thanks. For your throat. All right, now, they are going to go back. Oh, this pan is hot. Ah, you! <laughs> that's ah. all right. Well, let me get you up, could you? No, that's all right, I got a pad over here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what if, are y'all hot up in there yet? Oh, it's very hot. Oh, now, is it all right up there? How much time do we have left on this mess? Five minutes and three, all right, I guess I better put them in here. And let's call for the receipts. Oh yeah, yeah, let's show what kind of mess, I mean, wonderful dishes it is we're preparing here today. 
Oh, the light still works. That's good. Oh, I better turn it off. Well, yeah, because it glares real bad. Now, this is my, this is my filet of sole. One tablespoon of finely chopped onion, a little butter to fry it in, two tomatoes peeled, seeded, and chopped, which I did, all of that, salt and pepper, a little clove of garlic, chopped parsley as a garnish, although I have uh, put it in <clears throat> a little ahead of time. One 12 ounce filleted sole, and you can sort of lay that, slop that around a little white wine for a while, sort of marinate it, as they say mm -hmm. here in this town, marinate it. And there you have it. And the uh, other one, oh, look at how long that title is. My heavens, but it I, takes I, up half a screen. Mm -hmm. I put half the, I put the French name up there so everybody would know we're not ignorant. Too bad you can't butt two TVs together uh -huh. and get it all and up the, at once. And you have tomatoes, uh, grated cheese, scrambled eggs, and butter. How they doing? How's everybody? They're doing all right. <laughs> all right, uh, now while, um, let's see, we ought to have Miss Witch. She's got to come in. You just seem a little confused. Letter. I know I'm frantic. I don't want to. You know how many times have I burned stuff up in that? Oh, door? I know it's true. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, <laughs> come here, you old witch. She's feisty today. She got in my hair. It's the first time it looked Get decent in three weeks, and she's messed it up. All right, what? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! Where I can't are the girls this. now, Laban? Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ooh, fish hands, oh, fish, hands. Ooh, fish, hand, fish hands. Fish hands, fish hands. Fish hands. It says, what? Dear muchachos. Muchachos. Aquí vamos a español. Hmm. España. Oh, they're in Spain. Well, it's all Greek oh, to me. So we're going to Spain. We're in Spain. We're in here Spain. Are, <laughs> here are a picture of the sombreros we wore the other day. Oh, I thought that was a picture of one of those women on a nude beach. Anyway, uh, here are some wonderful Spanish recipes for next week. Hope you enjoy them. Adios, amigos, sutias, sister y tutsi. <laughs> sister y tutsi. Oh, the cook sisters. So we're going to Spain next Spain. week. Spain. You know, did, I don't know how it was up what? in the valley, but you know around here when they talk about somebody going to Spain, that meant that they passed. I never heard tell of that. You know, when somebody died. As in passed they away? To, they yeah, went to Spain? they went to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Now, well, we, I don't know either. Maybe somebody all right? Could, somebody all right. could tell us the origin of that, perhaps. They said they means. were all right. Well, now, well, how, I gotta how check about mine. the fish eggs? Well, I, they look like they're done. i rinse your your fork off. Unfortunately, I can't find anything to get them out of the oven yeah. with. Oh, yes, they are, as a matter of fact. About 10 minutes is all it takes. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, let me put this down over here so you can serve. They're just it. real pretty. I need to shut that up. All right. <laughs> ah! Okay. This is just real nerve wracking. This program has just worn me out. Oh, don't they look pretty? They smell good too. Oh, and they even got halfway brown. Well, that's a miracle. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> stuck to it. <laughs> Hand me my water. Move it. They're giving us a high side. Oh. I think the, they're high. They but anyway, high? here we go. Uh -huh. You put that on there while I... <laughs> There's... Well, I can't find any fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, and it looks good. Oh, it's just real lovely and smashed to pieces. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. There. Oh. Thank you so oh. much. Oh. That boy is making sense. Give signs. me some time. I need time. These people have rushed oh, me around. Oh, boy, this looks good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tastes good, too. <laughs> Before you even it. It's so hot, I'm about we to gotta die. Go. We got to go. Bye. Bye.
If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.